Have I scanned that? It wouldn't have let me. That's that's bizarre. Yeah, anyway. Whoa, a little too close for comfort. Try any favors, trial of hope. Let's go there. <sighs> It's been a long time since I've been to that planet. Well, since I've been to that last planet. I'm sorry for repeating myself. <sighs> suddenly there's suddenly there, there's a uh, a chill in here. People of uh, the Ingram people. I have done as you commanded. I'm wearing a strange tank top. Do not Stars mind me. Stars and skies light our way. Stars and skies light our way. She knows how to play a crowd. <laughs> She's the most high. Welcome home. I never thought I'd see it again. Without the Resistance and the Pathfinder, I wouldn't be here. We made a good team. We freed more than just the Moshai. And the Pathfinder killed a Ket leader. We have a lot to celebrate. I promise to lead the Pathfinder to Aya's vault. You're still recovering. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Not without our help. I'll prepare the vault for your arrival. A shuttle will bring you to me when it's ready. Thank you, Moshai. We've been alone against the Ket for too long. You've proven it doesn't have to be that way. It's time we discussed an alliance between our people. That's a great idea. Or, wait. Might want to ask your resistance leader how he yes. feels. I should... If I don't like where the discussion goes, I'll end it. Agreed. We'll provide an embassy for the initiative here on Aya. We'll make room for you on the Nexus. Our city is open to you. Join us. Well done, Joel. Report for reassignment. I need to stay with the Pathfinder. Hmm. What should I say? He's welcome to my ship, or...? I'm here to cooperate. Whatever you decide, I'll work with it. You're set on this. It's the right thing to do. I see the benefit. Request granted. I need to file a mission report. Don't leave Aya without me. Duly noted. Cultural exchange. Nice. Fast travel station, just like the Citadel in Mass Effect 1. Okay. Lots of side quests here. Lots of things to do. <clears throat> oh, this is nearby. Let's go over there. You came back. Yeah. I have bad news. Your supplier, Keldo. The cat got him. Thank you for confirming how he died. You have his supplies? Supplies. Your friend is dead. Don't you care? I grieved for Keldo before I sent you to find his body. He fought for the resistance. He died for it. We still need what he promised. The cat had your weapons. I got them back. Yes. All of them. And kill those killers dead. This is good. You're honest, Pathfinder. Reliable. Are we friends now? You did well. How many more of these tests do I have to pass? <laughs> we don't trust outsiders. But maybe we can work with you. I've been if working my ass off. I've cleared out two plants for you. That should be enough. I have things you can use, and I want to see your credits for myself. Trade? 
think I'm getting the better deal. All you walk away with is a number. True. But who knows what that number will be worth someday. Mm. My inventory is open to you. Anything you need. Oh, it's a general, a general store. How interesting. Let's see what they. I love what I have. Man, I have a shitload of uh, augmentations. Huh? Huh. Cool. Oh, so, so these are like a bit of a... I gotta keep my scanner out. At least I can... Sorry. Just mumbling my thoughts. Pretty interesting. I want to take a look around. I'm touching your computer! I'm touching your computer! Join slide for uh, Shealish. The following items are cleared for enemy shipment to field. We uh, create solar here. We place parts. Yeah, parts. <clears throat> Next. Four cases of freeze uh, dried nutria paste. Two crates of G zero GD. G yeah, GD. Seven five ammunition explosive rounds. Six crates of reinforced heat uh, retraining synthetic fabric. This item has been quarantined pending port captain review. Three are my cases of my hair bottles. Which uh they're all in one. Okay, cast dates unknown. Okay, I think you have anything else to say. Pity. Ooh. Mm hmm. Research station here. Nice. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything else back here. Pardon me. Ooh. Right. Right. Hello. Just hi, that's it. Hi. Okay. Don't mind me scanning stuff. Hmm? Display stand, what's this? We rose from nothing to touch the stars, made homes on many worlds. Do not mourn what the cat stole from us, celebrate uh, what still remains. All things reach their end and make way for new life to fill the void. The worlds and people we lose will return in time. Family grows forever. We dedicate this garden to those who are not here with us, but who will one day return. This place is for them. <laughs> Yay! Fast travel! Oh! 
Ah, yeah, fetch your aunt. It would be wise to speak with me before engaging in trip. I never thought I'd see the Moshai again. Least of all, thanks to you. Welcome to the marketplace. I am Arbiter Renhardt. I enforce correct contact between merchants and customers, resolving any disputes. As the first outsider to enter the city, you are ignorant of our laws. We should change that. All right. Who decides what happens to people who break the law? It depends on the grievance. I settle minor offenses right here. More serious ones require a tribunal. Simple enough. Where I'm from, the biggest trade law is don't cheat. Is it different here? I suspect we define cheating differently. What is unfair changes based on perspective. Alright, doesn't seem like, seem like there are any other options. I don't want to cause any trouble. How do I learn your laws? I'll transmit a full readout. Familiarize yourself with the contents. Personal responsibility is a core foundation of our society. We expect it from everyone. Understood. Please visit my colleagues in the governor's office and the resistance headquarters. They'll teach you about our culture and what it means to walk freely among us. Your understanding is critical. It would be unfortunate if you accidentally violated our laws. We don't want that, don't we? We really don't. Petra, how are you doing? Doing okay. Who knew saving a respected member of Angaran society would open so many doors? Nah, don't you think? Seeing if we can work things out. I know you like looking for the advantage, but we need to earn their trust first. Don't bargain too hard. You're the boss. Ryder. Petra. The cat have uh, felt the power of the resistance, and they know their end is coming. Our victories on field are only the, uh, the beginning of what we can achieve, but we can't defeat the enemy without your help. If you're tired of living in fear, if you believe we uh, were meant for something greater than slavery, if you're willing to stand up and fight, you will find a new family in the resistance. We will train you to strike back at the cat and reclaim what is ours. The resistance defends the future of Angara. Join us. New clientele is always welcome here. Have a look. I'm sure you'll find something to your taste. What? The sales pitch is good, but it's the follow-through that matters. <laughs> I'll let my inventory speak for itself. That l looks... The color looks absolutely weird. Hiya! I'm not selling to aliens. Hey! Visit me for all your day-to-day -day needs. Your credits are as good as anyone else's. Don't start any trouble and we're fine. I'll be the poster child for no trouble. Whatever that means, it'll do. <laughs> poster child. Ah. Uh, nothing suspicious at all. Honest. Ooh, I'll take that. Cool. Vesteran? I was there when you landed. Watched you get escorted through the city. Bet that was a sight. You were an unexpected outsider. Not really a laughing matter. I've never seen fruit like this before. What are these? Goods for the home, Fire home. Tools for the field. Sweet with a little bite. Sometimes if I'm lucky, I have a few kiloa or elmok. What? Is fruit scarce here? In this form, yes. Very expensive. If you buy your paripo from me, it means you have something to celebrate. It's a luxury. Meant to be shared with friends and family. I'll get moving. Okay. They let you pass the gates. Huh. Can I shop here or should I go elsewhere? Well, you did rescue the Moshai. 
Have a look, see if there's anything you want. Ooh! 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 Let's see what you have! Let's, let's see what you have! Oh. Same stuff. Disappointed, but... Gotta cover your bases. Oh, uh, pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry for interrupting the conversation. Need to get past through. Oh, never mind. I'll just walk. Uh, okay. Sad face. Sad. Ah! Governor's office. Oh, the council here. Hmm. Don't see the harm of that. Ah, uh, great. I have to talk from the other side. Pathfinder, as you can imagine, your arrival raised concerns from Aya's people. I thought I'd proven they have nothing to worry about. You are one person. They want the Nexus to hear our voices. We've set up terminals in the city so people can leave messages for your people on the Nexus. I'd appreciate if you'd take a look and forward their communications to your people. Okay. Oh, more quests to do. Nice. Okay. Hey, can I speak to you? Hello? There you go. Oh, up. Oh. Arbiter Renav told me to expect you. I prepared a data pad detailing our laws. Read it fully. As defined by the first founders of... Uh, oh, yeah. This world and all who live on it agreed to abide by the laws, customs, and regulations of a civilized civil society that existed for centuries on other worlds. These rules of conduct ensure a voice of each family within our society and give them certain and valuable rights. Nearly six thousand pages. Six thousand pages. I got nothing, other than like, holy shit. Poke. L let there be unity. Before the scourge, Angar were one people. It took centuries after that disaster to find each other again. And by then, we've been divided too long. That's how the Ked were able to conquer us. Okay, the war uh, uh, forced us... Uh, back together, but now uh, you have set the balance. Some don't trust you. Either wants you to save, want you to save us. The is for me. If you really hear, uh, keep up, people. Yeah, I'm writing this in my final days. I've lived a long life that now comes to its natural end. I've known great loss and pain, but also joy and hope. I think we have we have that in common. My fate is to leave at a turning point in history. Part of me is thinking that we will see what happens next. I'm gonna make my peace. What if it becomes every people, mind, and the cat will uh, reverberate into the lives of my great grandchildren? Hold on. Uh, and that gives me uh, strange comfort. Hold on. Ah. Uh, it's like I got something in my throat. I know there's more to this life than war hardship. Now I've seen enough to know you people understand that too. Be, be well. Take care of each other. Change life for the better. Goodbye. Eh, what's the harm? Alright, so... Liam's you know, close. Let's talk to him. Hmm? Hang on a sec. I'll be the 
Moshi opened a lot of doors around here. <laughs> Most Angara still keep their distance, though. Well, you are a bit of an eyesore. Speak for yourself. <laughs> when I saw my first human, I couldn't understand how you keep your huh? blood inside. Skin that thin. Huh. So, Liam, what do you have to mind? Good to be back here. Ready to hit those scans? What am I looking for? Moran called out supplies that may have useful properties for our tech. Just need to get Sam's eye on them. Take a stroll. Enjoy the market. Nav sent. Okay. Uh, 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 I got nothing. I want to take a look around. <laughs> no. Come on. Archaeologists and Havaro recently uncovered what they believe are pieces from the oldest structure as yet found in the planet. These fragments were literally uprooted by mutating vegetation rising from an underground cavern. Though the exact uh, cultural nature of this find remains unknown, teams of researchers have recently established a permanent site to search for more clues. Interesting. I've heard so much about you. Is it true you entered a vault on Eos? Sure is. Amazing. I would have liked to see that. Are you a relic hunter like Avela? Actually, I started as an engineer. The Moshai requested my help cracking encryption on a remnant ship she found. Eventually, that led me to the repository. I've been handling data encryption here ever since. I take it you help run this place. Nalan and I are Avela's assistants. It's been strange getting used to that. Why? Avela's much younger than the previous curator. She has a lot more energy. Sometimes <clears throat> I have to remind her to take a break. She's too passionate for her own good. Okay. I'll let you get back to it. Yeah. Got word from Eladin. Good news? Well, we got another remnant piece. But nothing Angaran. Pay them for their efforts. It's not their fault. Oh, it's you. I watched you land. Hope you're not calling me it anymore. You heard that. I apologize. I, I was ignorant. What's your job around here? Aelin and I help Avela with her studies. I specialize in restoration. So you make relics look new. New as I can. I'm not a miracle worker, no matter what Avela says. She'll praise Ellen and I to anyone who will listen. Never had a supervisor like that before. I'll leave you to it. Pathfinder, did you make it to her volume? Yes, yes. I found this Angaran helmet. Does it mean anything to you? This is a pre-Dark Age design. <laughs> Do you see the black marks? The scourge targeted this pilot ship. Stars, it's perfectly preserved. I can almost imagine the pilot. He must have been so afraid. I or she. One of these intact. You never know. Do you know how rare this is? I can't even begin to repay you. Why would the scourge target that ship? It must have been a remnant vessel. Or maybe there's remnant tech in the helmet itself. Can you imagine? Our ancestors using the remnant. You know, Pathfinder, this gets me thinking. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't even know that helmet existed. What if that's not all we're missing? There could be a wealth of history just out of our reach. So, I'm requesting your help again. I can't agree without knowing what you want from me. Of course, that's only fair. I've led digs on every Angar and homeworld, but there are places I've missed, areas only a pathfinder could go. There could be relics sitting untouched and for centuries. And 20 no more them. bear asses. I ask this. If you ever find yourself in an area like that, you keep an eye out for artifacts. That's it? That's it. Keep me in mind as you explore and bring me anything of interest. It'd help if I knew where to look. Any planet could contain something of potential value. My people traveled far. I know that doesn't answer your question, but just keep your eyes open for me. A few hidden relics coming up.
I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh I'll be crap. Here if you find anything. Good luck. Any insight you can give me on the remnant tech? We don't know much. To our understanding, it's always been here. Start. I would love to be the one to solve that mystery. This is quite a place. It feels like home to me. Sometimes I think I should move in. Hey, eye contact. Eye contact. You're Someday like, we'll fill it with relics. Stay over to the distance. Telling a story. Look at me. And my people will come here to learn and to remember. You'll get there. With enough hard work. Yes. You said the helmet was touched by the scourge. What does that mean? I, I scourge stuff in it, don't you know? That. When the scourge appeared, it targeted remnant ships, broke down their technology. With the drive cores disabled, the ships crashed. But that may not be all. The scourge leaves a mark on whatever it touches. If it touched this helmet, perhaps the pilot was the target. There may be remnant tech inside the helmet. Or in the pilot. Storms. I hadn't even thought of that. Is it normal for someone as young as you to be in charge? I'm no younger than you. And you're a pathfinder. I kinda inherited the job. So did I. I was apprenticed to the former curator. It was my job to bring him artifacts from other worlds. When he retired, I sort of fell into his position. Do you miss relic hunting? Some days, but mostly I'm happy to spend more time with each piece. Have you always been into history? Oh yes. When I was young, I would dig up shells and pretend they were ancient armor pieces. I've always had a big imagination. With only 14 siblings, I got lonely sometimes. 14 siblings in your- That's insane. Why? How many do you have? Just the one. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry. God. Oh, man. I'll come back when I have something. Stars guide your travels. Did I level up? Damn, that was fast. Uh -huh. Nice, I want to check it out. <laughs> now that is something else. I heard you cough. Jal, you up? <clears throat> Sorry. Second grenade. You need to be uh, buffed in defense. Um... I guess. Phoebe? My nose itches. Looks like I'm gonna sneeze at any moment. <laughs> you tend to go up front, so I'll give you that. Jesus, you have more. Oh, Jesus! Wow! You guys are a lot tougher than I am. Are, are, are tougher than I am. Just. 
Wow. Oh, whoa. Don't want to do that. First time for Shilish. This fragment is from a wall of the governor's public residence on field, which was destroyed by Cat Bombardment during the initial invasion. The governor, old staff, and most of her immediate family were killed were all killed in the in a blast. Field stands liberated, this relic were, will form the cornerstone of a monument to those who gave their lives defending our home. Oh, that's just That's just sad. Ryder, you are the subject of a detailed scan by an Angora standing nearby. Maybe I should introduce myself. First, Jal. Well, what do you think? I could get used to this. We take turns living here. You can see why. You're relaxed here. There's a sparkle in your eye. I am. Thank you. It's nice of you to notice. You're interesting. I like to notice. Thank you for making sure that this squad behaves while on IA. <sighs> I don't tell them what to do on their own time. That's not how Paran sees it. I predict jail in your future. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I added it. Why not? Hello there. I'm working. You scanned me pretty hard. That wasn't your way of saying welcome, stranger. I wanted to be discreet. Noted. What's your interest in me? You're an alien on my homeworld. Why wouldn't I be interested? You could, you could have asked. Fine. I just said that! Will you submit to a full spectrum analysis of your biology? You haven't even told me your name. Darnfra. Biological researcher. This is my home. <laughs> Don't move! Don't let me throw my orb at you! Are you looking for something specific? We share many external similarities. I want to learn if that holds true internally. Why not? Can't fault you for being curious. Scan away. I didn't think you'd comply. I'm full of surprises. That you are. When we face extinction, family is our final comfort. Do you understand that? I came to this galaxy with my family. I lost my father on the day I arrived. But you still carry on his legacy. He knew that in the end. Family is everything. Not only the one we have now, but the ones that follow us. What will your family look like in five generations? Ten? How many of you will there be? You're worried there'll be more of us than you. I have 23 grandchildren. I want to know what their grandchildren will inherit. Goodbye, Pathfinder. So, anything else to say? Oh. You have questions? Be quick. How do you stay busy when you're not scanning strangers from another galaxy? <laughs> I research and develop organic tactical equalizers. That sounds... scary. Only to those who threaten Aya. What else did your scan reveal about me? You're strong, tough. But much of Helios is inhospitable to human biology. You won't have it easy. Never have. How do humans stack up against your people in the Ket? You lack biological advantages, but your technology may offset that. Huh. It can't have been easy holding out by yourselves against the Ket. Before them, it was the Scourge. Our entire civilization was almost wiped out. Centuries of rebuilding. It says a lot that you've made it this far. We'll go much further. Did you scan me on your own, or did someone put you up to it? 
Paran, Ephra? I'm a scientist. I want to understand anything outside my knowledge and experience. All that information you collect is for personal use? Of course not. Angara share knowledge. It's how we survive. Okay, Thanks I'll just speak. Time. All right. Yes, yes. Go. All right. Okay. I'll just be going my way that... Ah, uh, creep. Learned you were coming. I prepared... Oh, tw over 200 pages. Though we faced an enemy that would not stop until our entire... The civilization see, uh, ceases to uh, exist. It's important to, uh, we not uh, uh, abandon the principles of basic morality. The cat must be defeated, but not at any cost. It won't matter if our future generations can live without a fear of death or enslavement. That freedom was achieved through genocide or barbaric crimes. Nailed it! Mm-hmm. Sounds like you've got trouble. Too many kept, not enough resistance. Have a team that's been in the field for six months without resupply. They won't come in. Say they're close to taking down a kept outpost, but I don't know. If they could do it alone, they would have by now. Send reinforcements. Hitting the enemy in one place leaves us vulnerable elsewhere. But you're right. This is the hardest part of my job. Thank you for the advice, Pathfinder. Oh, I hope this doesn't bite me in the ass. That's quite the gift you sent. Insane AI. Real attention grabber. My people have a saying about gifts. It's the thought that counts. Nice to know you care. What do you need? You've been fighting Ket a long time. Any advice? Your war's different from ours. It's still a war, and we're not prepared for it. Wouldn't matter if you were. The Ked aren't a conventional enemy. Any idea where they came from? A, a homeworld somewhere? Each of our colonies heard a different story. I doubt any were true. They came from far away. That's all we know. Ever tried following a Ked ship to see where it goes? Of course we did. Wherever home is, they don't visit. Do the Ked have a favorite strategy? Something we can exploit? They switch tactics constantly. Almost capricious about it. Makes them unpredictable. They must have some weakness. They're vulnerable to brute force. That's enough. The Ket aren't mindless monsters. They must care about something. Slaves, resources, power. Same as any conqueror. You didn't see the exaltation process. Treat it like religion. They convert us against our will. That's not religion. It's genocide. I have to agree with that. Has its purpose. Theirs is to take whatever they want. There's no official Angaran military, just the resistance? Lost our fleets and armies decades ago. Cat mostly. The rest fell to internal strife. We kept fighting, but our civilians were disorganized, poorly supplied, leaderless. Decades of aimless defiance got us nowhere. I had to make the Resistance real. How is the Resistance organized? Loosely. We operate in cells. Independent strike teams have better odds. If the Ket capture a cell, it doesn't compromise the rest. How'd you wind up in charge? Nothing to lose. My family was rounded up into a Ket slave camp. Last contact I had with any of them was ten years ago. They could still be alive. Didn't figure you for an optimist. What success have you had against the cat? Enemy casualties are up 600% in three years. But that's just a number. Every time we destroy a facility, take out a warship, 
We give our people hope. And you're not fighting alone anymore. We'll see. <laughs> I've seen we shall see. In uniform. They're not resistance? Are your police purely ornamental? Gives us the appearance of civilization. You don't think they're necessary? If things go bad, the resistance will handle it. That's up to the governor, isn't it? <laughs> oh! What do you think of your governor? She governs Aya, not the resistance. Way to avoid the question. Is there history between you? I can always count on Paran to offer a spirited argument. You respect her. She holds her own. Not many do. I hope the initiative is making a good impression. The initiative? <laughs> Sounds so unthreatening, like a city planner meeting. That's kind of what it's meant to be. City planners don't walk around in battle armor with rifles on their shoulder. Depends on the city. My point is, we traveled through dark space to build something here. That's what invaders always say, at first. We're not invaders. Of course. Ooh, What's cold shoulder, but Afra? yeah. You're not getting my personnel file. I'd just like to know who I'm working with. You want to know what it's like being me? I wake up every morning to fight a war. I send people to kill and die. If I'm lucky, there are more dead cat than resistance you know, when I go to sleep. That long face of yours, of you can do it with a smile. Enough personal discussion. I'll let you get back to it. Good. Ish. <sighs> so not much is left. Ugh. Can I pop my shoulder? Uh, my, not my shoulders. Fingers. Why the hell would, would I pop my shoulders? Sorry I wasn't talking much. I'm just taking in the view, I guess. I remember the first time I met the Morshe. It was one of the... <sighs> not today, Nexus. Liam? I'm not selling to aliens. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Just come grab a table with me. Okay. Uh, first things first, uh, I want to check this out. Whoop, 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 whoop. Gonna scan, are gonna get one more message. I hope all these unedited, uh, files. Woo! The kid. Oh, I think I already read this. Ooh, I do hope uh, it doesn't cause any problems. Whoa, you alright there, Ryder? You really are out of breath. Hope that's not causing any problems. Pathfinder, you're good here. We'll worry about the date to another time. Liam, what's going on? I, uh, figured we should end up somewhere nice and open. You were being cased. Are you getting me in trouble? What was this about? We're not in trouble exactly, but I don't blame them for being angry. I wanted to get data that would help yields at our outposts. Varan told me what to scan, but I called it off. I still owe her, but it's better than pissing off some gouging hardliner. Sorry I didn't clue you in. It's a security thing. Food is security. 
Was this an attempt to copy their methods, steal secrets? We're not competing companies. It's about learning to live here. Remember my Tempest freakout? I tried proper channels. Got blocked by the Angara and the Nexus. Oh, wow. There's only so much Jar can tell us. So I did what we do back in Crisis Response. Bend the rules. Liam, I deserve better than having this sprung on me mid-market. You're right. Of course, you're right. And the Angara are right, too. The last people who showed up out of the blue were the Ket. The ultimate users. I don't want us getting lumped in with them. And I really, really don't want to ruin the market. I like coming here. Just enjoying time with you. Feels normal. About time something did. Let's go while it... Let's not push our luck. We'll save the market for another day. Yep. Uh, good idea, Pathfinder. We've enough trouble. And probably more coming. Alright, is there anything else besides the main quest and stuff? What the hell is that? Let's get back to the Nexus. Hey, Lady Esper, what's up? Okay. Oh. I want to skip this. I really want to skip this because I am going to see this a lot. Wow. Wow. Ryder, Liam's looking for you. Pathfinder, you have new email. A f a all in. I found that plant you wanted. Great. I'll give the recipe a try when I'm off duty. I've already got ideas for how to jazz it up. Jazz it up? I'll keep working on Mr. I don't like movie nights here to come along. I like keep something of it. <laughs> just not when Gil is glowering at me. How's it going? I should get back to things. Sounds good. Callow, anything? What can I do for you? I'll let you concent- you Okay. Okay. Just checking on you. Didn't want to send this. Pathfinder. I need your help with a thing. A big thing. Can't go in, in, into any message. You're not going to like why. But I can explain. Talk to me. Oh boy. I, 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 yeah, so the, the Angara, they, they have a place called the Reservoir of History. I know, sounds super dull, needs sound with more of a flair. Oh, uh, or for, for, maybe things, huh? Next time you run around, Aya, come see me there, will ya? Phoebe. Can we talk on camera? I, hello, writer, the things I'm hearing, a garden world, a whole new species. If you can talk on the record, you know where to find me. Kiri. Right, I've been reviewing all the messages you forwarded from the Angara populace. It's courage to see that even these initial faces of contact we have supporters among them. Though it's equally clearly we have worked out for us when in winning over the rest. But I'm confident you are on the right track. I would have been surprised if these uh, if the Angara has expressed skepticism. First contact is a complicated situation, and if the rules were reversed, I'll be sus sus suspicious of them if they arrived in, in, in our store step. Thank you for passing these messages along. They'll provide valuable insight as we navigate these or tricky waters. Direct to town. Uh, dearest, in your culture, is there too strong a word to use when two people are found uh, are fun each other? Is fun too strong a word to use when two people start enjoying fun of each other? I enjoy you, even though I I smile picturing uh, picturing your face. A girl are free with our emotions. It feels normal for me to lay mine at your feet. I hope this is not too strange for your species and that you can comfortably accept them. I enjoy it, but but a bit more th than that, I adore your strength and courage and beauty. Your dearest child. Oh crap. I got into a romance with them by accident. Crap. <laughs> no, nothing wrong with that. It's just. 
Well, that's that's like unexpect unexpected. So we got things to do. All right, Liam. Come on, I need a way out of this. Something I should know about? Hey, I was just How you doing? I'm great. Just uh yeah, I told you I screwed up and I have. Remember Verand? I contacted Yangara. She's gone. The whole group is gone. Suddenly. So, yeah, up for a rescue? Because if we don't, we could be next. You seem pretty sure this is your fault, but I'm not hearing why. Yeah. Uh because I gave Varan Nexus data and nav points. Why would you Yes. Do that? We need to know how to live here. I tried asking. I tried taking. No one would help outsiders. So I took initiative. Gave her data and text so she could mod it. Varand was she is a good risk. But if pirates interrogate her or barter her to the cat. It's our heads. Why didn't you alert everyone immediately? If they have her info, they have our comms. The Nexus goes on alert, they'll know. Varan's people are tough. Uh, for fuck's sake, Liam. They thought there was a chance. Something made them think there wasn't. I won't risk that. Bad enough, I have to involve you. Like I said, I screwed up. All right, we'll, we'll take fix care of it before it's a problem. It's already a problem. I got a lead from a trader, a grainy visual. We find that system, we find our bad guys. I also asked Bradley for people to help intercept. I thought they might want to pitch in. How are a bunch of settlers supposed to help? That's what he said. We're on our own. I'll forward the visual to the bridge for when you want to start hunting. And... Sorry. <sighs> Getting acquainted with our new neighbors? Sort of. All this stuff. The Angara sure do have a rich culture and blah, blah, blah. You're sauced, aren't you? What's your poison? Apsha. I visited that cafe the Angara consider a bar. <laughs> Asked for their hardest stuff. It was weird, which I like, but had almost no <gasps> punch. <laughs> Lightweights. Whoa. Steady now. You call yourself the lightweight. Must have a slow absorption rate. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, writer. It's just this museum reminds me of being on Haitiana during my indentured service as a student. They even have a whole section on the remnant. I didn't come to Andromeda to follow in someone else's footsteps. It didn't occur to you there'd be indigenous species here, sentients with a rich history, leading full lives. I guess. Even so. The Angara barely have a foothold. Sure, they live among the ruins, but they haven't seen what we've already seen. Hmm. You might have a point there. Bet nobody here has ever outrun an ancient vault purification field, huh? <laughs> nope. Or spat Drunk in Phoebe. that Harkon's ugly mug and lived to talk about it? That was nice work, by the way. Thank, Thank you. you. Ah, you're right. I'm not sure why, but ever since I packed up my apartment on the Nexus, something's crawled under my skin. What is it but then? Whatever it is, I promise. I'll get over it lickety split. You're fine, PB. We all need to cut loose once in a while. You're very understanding and attractive. Nice combination. <laughs> I think I'll stay in your operation a little while longer. Nice. Remember it did it, Core? I'll check that out later. Oh, come on, think. Think. I need something. Well, that Ooh, something is right here. Writer? Shit. You shouldn't sneak up on someone like that. I'm just talking to myself. Don't tell me you never do that. You seem stressed. No kidding. I'm not built for this kind of homesteading. I don't like people knowing where I am. Where my stuff is. Ugh. That's fine an answer. What's your usual solution? Usually I cut bait. Scram, strike out on my own. 
When I felt like this back home, I'd look for a zero-G chamber, or at least an isolation tank. Some place to just drift away. I could really use that now. If I may, gravity can be overridden in the escape pod. You can create a zero-G chamber. Of course! Sam, you're a genius. <laughs> it's easy. It'll make a huge difference, Ryder. You'll see. You know, there's room for two. Thought you'd never ask. That's all I need to hear. And this should do it. <sighs> Close your eyes. Relax. <laughs> Let yourself go. Mm. Oh, this hits the spot. Ryder? Yeah? There's something else that would relax me. What's that? That's the spirit. Wanna fool around? <laughs> Doesn't matter if you have something else going on. I can be utterly discreet. Just fun. Two people blowing off mm. steam. No strings attached. Only if there's no strings. Yeah, what the hell? That'll be fun. Okay, then. Say no more. Oh, you mean now? Here? <laughs> you do know what say no more means, right? Huh. <laughs> Whoa. Huh. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Lady Esper. <laughs> and there's that remnant just like... Floating right into the... Uh, <laughs> 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 Bunk out, bunk out, bunk out. <sighs> no strings. Right, Ryder? No strings. Cool. Free for an interview? I'd like to know more about the Angara. It's not often a first contact goes so smoothly. At least the Angara are more peaceful than the Ket. There's high hopes for this alliance. The Angara have their own problems, and we're newcomers in their cluster. We need to work at this. The Angara soldier who joined your team has a few fans already, but everyone's talking about Aya. Green plants, flowing water? Our leaders have discussed whether we should send colonists there. Hmm. Oh, nope, nope. Aya is a sovereign planet of the Angara. We have no right to settle there. Strong stuff. Here's hoping we don't need to. Okay, that's... Oh, a call from the director's office. Excuse me. Alright, uh... Let's check out over there. And we're happy to help your guards secure their weapons. I prefer them armed, for now. You understand, of course. Oh, Pathfinder. This is the head of the Angaran delegation. Nice to meet you. The one who saved the Moshai. She speaks highly of you. Call me Issa de Navarre. We're glad to have you, Ambassador. Strong ties with the Angara will strengthen us both. To a good end, I hope. I was just explaining to the Ambassador that armed guards aren't necessary here. Is something wrong, Ambassador? Please walk with me, Pathfinder. Okay. They act like... So much life. All different. All united. The way it could have been. Seventy-five years ago, we were scattered, struggling to rebuild after the Scourge. Then, the cat arrived. Alien life. It was monumental. But then they deceived and enslaved us. So, I hope you understand my precautions. I understand. Your people have endured much, Ambassador. I'd be cautious too. Yet all this, 
Your initiative is proof there's a better way. I want to believe in this alliance, Pathfinder. The most shy And cue the X uh, file music. Please help me trust in you. We have much to offer. Everything you see, we're willing to share. Knowledge, technology, support. What's the price? Whatever you're willing to give. They'll surrender their weapons to your militia, if that's satisfactory. Yeah! We won't disappoint you, Ambassador. Pavoa Sepjav Jaravon, Pathfinder. Welcome to Andromeda. Woohoo! That went well.